Hi everybody, happy Moundville Monday. Today we're gonna talk about Museum Expedition. Hi everybody, today we're joined by Allie Sorley, the Education and Outreach Coordinator for the Natural History Museum. She is also the Expedition Director. So how long have you been the Director of the Museum Expedition? I have been the Director of the program for five years now. Can you tell us a little bit about Museum Expedition? The Museum Expedition has been a cornerstone program for the Museum of Natural History since 1979. It was started by John Hall, who wanted to do an experiential, hands-on learning um, opportunity for the public so that the public could get a chance to go out and be a part of archaeological excavations and paleontological excavations and just getting a chance to add to the knowledge that we have of, of the state of Alabama. And so it started as a way to get people involved in science and it has continued that way for every year since. And we are now on year 42, which oh, is kind wow. of incredible. We visit different sites every year and we've traveled all over the state of Alabama and once into Mississippi and have even come to Moundville a couple of times. Awesome. So when is the last time you've been to Moundville or done some had ex held expedition at Moundville? Yeah, so the last time expedition was at Moundville was in 2005. And unfortunately, I personally wasn't here for that one, but I've heard really good stories from it and seen some really amazing pictures. So how does expedition help contribute to archeological research or to research in general? We offer the camp and the experience to researchers to see if they have a project that they might need help with, that they might need up to you know 20 people a week for three weeks to work on uh, with them. And so the camp, provides the researchers with people power. Um, it also provides researchers with the opportunity to do a little bit of outreach if that's something that they're looking for. It gives them a chance to have a bunch of people working on a project at the same time at a very concentrated time to hopefully get a lot done and, and be helpful with that. But then also some of the lab work, the processing parts as well. There's a lot of people who are interested in archaeology and paleontology and sometimes they're kids who are interested in going into that field later. So it gives the archaeologists a chance to meet and paleontologists a chance to meet with maybe some future colleagues. Expedition is always project first. So we always want to find the project that works with the camp. That is a great experience for both our campers and the researcher. And then we figure out the rest after that. So tell us a little bit about the virtual expedition that you guys are going to be doing. So this year for Expedition 42, uh, we're not able to have it in the traditional manner in person just for safety reasons. So this year we're going to a place where Expedition has never gone before, which is on the web. Expedition is traditionally a pretty low tech kind of program, but this year we are learning new skills and accepting new challenges and going to be a virtual experience this year, which I'm really excited about. We'll get a chance to you know, interview with paleontologists and archeologists, um, visit with some old expedition sites. We'll get a chance to learn about some of the expedition equipment that is familiar to some, but could become familiar to some others who can maybe join us in, in years in the future. And then we'll also get a chance to get to see some faces that we haven't seen in a while and just kind of celebrate the program, remember the program, and then also introduce the program to some new friends hopefully able to keep the spirit of the program alive just in a, in a different method this year. Well, awesome. So where can they find all of this wonderful expedition content? So you'll be able to find it at the um, Alabama Museum of Natural History Facebook page, as well as links to it on our museum website. Hey everybody, like and subscribe to our Facebook page and the UA Museum's YouTube page, and make sure you click the link below in the description box so that you can join us for Museum Expedition. <music>